Good morning, folks. Um, it is, what day is it? Um, it's October the 27th. Um, it is Tuesday. I am supposed to be at a pub today, but the pub never confirmed. So I'm taking the day off just to try and catch up on, I've got two tasting videos to do. I've got two videos of, uh, I've got the videos of last week to upload. So I'm just gonna take this opportunity to do that. Now, last night, so you know that when I was at the waterfront last week, was it last week? No, the week before, I had a problem with the footage. So it didn't upload to Dropbox. And when I cleared out the footage and recycling bin, I didn't realize it hadn't uploaded so I got rid of it and I just couldn't get it back. So last night I thought I would use my software that I use for something else, um, that I use for podcasting and stuff to um, to see if I could do a video where I've got posted, I've got pictures of screensavers of me drinking this and it's got me in the corner. So I got a bottle of Doom Bar and um, everything was great, everything was fine, <laughs> couple of edits, but um, when I went to save it, it saved as an MP MPK, MVK, I think. And um, so uh, Dropbox wouldn't upload it to the software that I use for editing the videos. So I then tried to go into this converter, this, is it VPL LAN, the, the cone. And I did all of that and I thought, brilliant. So I uploaded it to Dropbox, downloaded it from Dropbox and it had no sound. So I went into it. I must have saved it six different times in different formats of MP3 plus MP4 to try and get sound and nothing was happening. So um, I then had this, this software that comes with the computer that said, um, um, convert it here for free and it will have a watermark on it. And I thought, okay, you know, normally little watermarks are in the corner. This, it did it and it had sound, but this watermark was just splashed all over it. So I thought, brilliant, what can I do? Well, the software that I used to edit, I could separate the audio to the visual. So I separated the audio file, deleted the visual, uploaded an original visual, and then it took me 10 minutes to merge it all together. <laughs> Good gosh, it's like, <laughs> do you know, I was on the phone this morning, I'm loving it. I'm loving things right now. I really am. I'm loving the solitude. I'm loving the fact that I can get on and I'm really enjoying doing these videos. But I just do think that sometimes the gods must look down on me and go, hmm, how can we torment Rebecca today? What can we do to her? Because nothing is straightforward. Nothing is just like, okay, yeah, she's done well today. We'll give her a day off. Well, it's my day off today, gods no messing me about i've got shit to do and i just want to chill out and relax i'm watching the last i've got the last is it the last series i've got the last series of game of thrones before i've then got to stream it because i've only got box set from one to six and um i'm just gonna just chill out uh marvin's foot is getting better so hopefully um we can do a bit of a longer walk today because she was a bit moaning yesterday so yeah i'm just I haven't even done my hair, I haven't even took my lipstick off. I'm just chilling out, just relaxing in my moho with little Marvin. She's stuck in there, she is, but it's brilliant. I'm loving it. <laughs> and it'll... Uh, good morning, folks. It's day 22 today. Um, I'm getting ready to leave Great Ponton um, and head over to the Geese and Fountain today. Um, I'm really, ex I'm, I've got to start, start using a different word other than excited. I'm happy to um, go and visit this place because this place has been featured in the paper of how it's trying to ensure uh, the best for its customers and keep the place going. So it's going to be really interesting to find out what the team there have been getting up to to try and make sure that, you know, COVID is um, all the precautions that are there, but also that the patrons are having a wonderful time. Um, last night I did my beer tasting videos. Very funny. Um, there was one that I could only get down to 45 minutes because... <laughs> It was just so long and uh, it was an hour and a half's worth of video that I got down to 45 minutes because it is very funny. I mean, I'm explaining, uh, I'm describing one particular beer as like, as, as 
as a smell that you probably never want to smell. Um, so it's fully, it's funny to find out how I got into or how how I was able to understand and learn the process of tasting, smell, sights, that sort of thing, and the fun that I had along the way. Then, of course, I had the beer tasting session at the Nelthorpe Arms. Um, so I've made two little separate... It's called Beer Tasting with Rebecca, and um, I hope you you guys enjoy that. I've had a wonderful time here. Um, you know, uh, the grass here is wonderful, so considering Marvin's poor, um, it's healing really nice. I've not, I didn't get a chance to go into the woodlands. I would have liked to, but I just don't want to risk it. You know, there's um, ch like there's chestnut and conker shells and stuff like that that could really do some damage on Marvin's paw. But Marvin's been loving it. I've stuck the stake into the ground. I've given her a 20 meter parameter. So she's been happy just jiggling about and doing her own thing whilst I've been doing my own thing. And then we go for a walk round. The weather's been great. I know we've had torrential rain sometimes, but it's actually been really, really great fun. And I'm, I'm, what's the word? I need a different word. I'm intrigued to find out about this next place I'm going to. So watch this space and I'll keep you posted. <laughs> Good morning. It's day 23 and um, I've got a question for all the other motorhomers out there. Do you find that you're in a car park, an empty car park, and all of a sudden you'll hear this noise of a vehicle pulling up and they park right beside you despite the fact nobody else is in the car park? It makes no sense to me whatsoever. And what I'm talking about is um, a vehicle. Let me see if I can turn it around. Can you see through the window? Because, can you see? There's a vehicle right there. I'm in a huge, I mean huge, empty car park. Nobody's here. And they've parked right next to me. Now, I don't know if it's a sense of, you know, maybe they feel, maybe they feel safer with uh, parking next to another, woo, next to another vehicle. I don't know, but <laughs> come on up, you get. But um, I just don't get it. I really don't get it. There's like so much space here. Why can't they park next to somebody else? It's not nice. I don't. I don't like the idea of having to open my door. Why is it opening my door and literally falling into another vehicle? It's not what I want. So anybody watching this who does that, stop doing it. We don't like it. <laughs> Good evening. I have got my carton of beer. Uh, uh, my carton of beer from the pub tonight. Now, the problem that I have... It's a two pint cotton, but um, he's not, he's probably filled it up there. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. We'll open it in a second. But I'm already feeling a bit squiffy. Now, I know what you're saying, but you've hardly drank anything. Well, when you look at it this way, I've actually drank um, five. Is it five? Five, three, six, six alcoholic drinks that make up a pint and a half, but different drinks. So because of that, and the fact that I'm really old, um, I am a bit squiffy right now. So I don't even know whether I should open this, but I'm really concerned that I don't know, for some strange reason, it's a carton of beer. I've just got this weird feeling it's not gonna keep. So on that note, we're gonna open it. We're gonna open it. I'm gonna stick it in. Um, oh, it's the wrong cupboard, that's why. <laughs> I'm going to stick it in. Hmm, I don't even know if I want to be bothered to go into that. So I'm going to stick it in my beaker. I'm going to pull this off so it's like this. You slide. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> and there it is, look. There it is, look. In there. Um, brilliant. Let's let's pour it in, shall we? Um, do I make this into a spout? Oh yes, I can make this into a spout and go like this. 
beer in a carton. Okay, that's that's quite a lot. I'm going to pour some of that back, actually. Mm. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> and it's recyclable. I'm helping the environment. Right there. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm a bit squiffy. <laughs> Good morning, folks. It is day 24. I've not done a video message uh, for Instagram for some time now um, because I've just been trying to concentrate on getting YouTube up and running properly. Um, I've got loads of videos posted now. You've got two tasting videos. You've got, there should be six, is there six? There'll be six pubs uh, up by Saturday. Um, yeah, um, this is, I'm currently at Pub 11, which is the Griffins Inn. And um, I'll tell you what, it's absolutely gorgeous here. I had liver, liver and mash last night, a traditional, real old school, um, old fashioned meal with such a modern twist. It was so succulent. Um, I did the worst thing possible. I gave Marvin some of the liver and last night she gassed me out. <laughs> She's moaning. She gassed me out so bad. Um, it was, I, I it actually got to a point where I felt like I needed to open the windows because she stank. She really did stink. Her ass was on fire. It's like, well, good gosh. Um, I've done all my morning filming. It took me ages. There's so much here. You've got a massive function room. You've got a bar. You've got a small snug type room. You've got another snug type room, another one. Then you've got the secret garden. You've got the yard. Um, tonight, I've got a guy from the Drifters uh, that's going to be playing in a band um, tonight. So uh, they've got all these big fire things in the in the yard. So I'm really excited to be able to film that. And I'm getting pulled pork tonight. I've not had pulled pork yet. So I'm really excited about that. Um, it's just amazing. It's I'm really enjoying myself. Um, Mm. Quick question to other motorhome folk. Um, mattress toppers. I do think I need to get a mattress topper because I think the foam here, I mean, I've got a couple of mattress toppers, but nothing that's great. I want like a couple of inches. What do you think What about how many inches you should have? <laughs> Don't refer that in a sexual way at all. But what's the best size in inches? <laughs> Is it the bigger the better or is two inch two inch good? You know, because I know that after so many points of an inch, it's pointless having it. So <laughs> let me know. I don't know why I even mentioned that. It's normally somebody else would pick that up. But um, yeah, I'm off to a great big walk around the reservoir today. Uh, providing Marvin's okay with it because she, she has got, uh, she's got an allergic reaction to something. It might be mites. It might be some type of, something that we've picked up in a field or something i really don't know but um i'm gonna give her i'm gonna give her a bath um tomorrow and um well it's not a bath it's a shower i'll give her a warm shower medicated soap and uh, and stuff and see if that helps but um yeah we're off for a walk enjoy your day we'll catch you guys later Hey folks, <laughs> I just thought I would let you know that, uh, where's my exposure lock? There we go. I just want to let you know, I've just got back from a fantastic night, my last night at the uh, Griffins Inn. And so I've got a gift look, look. I've got, I believe it fits five. Is it five, five leaf, five pints or four pints? But I've got this. And then, um, so you put this and then you press that. I can't remember how you do it now. Um, it says press to reset and you press it and then that's in and that keeps the fizz in. And look at that. So I can take that ev with me everywhere I go to get my wonderful lager. Uh, my, I'm drinking that Moretta, I think it is. <laughs> I've had a wonderful night filming. 
I'm very, very, very happily merry. And Marvin got a little scared earlier because there was lots of feedback which made her made her bolt, pulled the table, knocked everything over. So um, we've had lots of cuddles tonight. We have, haven't we? Lots of cuddles. Yes, beautiful. And um, we're just about to try and watch a film I've been trying to watch for the past two days. <laughs> Because my Wi-Fi is rubbish. But other than that, I've had a... <laughs> I need to stop drinking. No, well, I like drinking. Well, not... Well, I do enjoy a beverage, but um, it's Friday. I've just kicked it again. I'm going to stop now. Love you. Bye. Hey, folks. So, I've just watched the news and... Oh, I'm absolutely gutted. I am absolutely gutted. From Thursday, the pub tour is on hold um, for four weeks. We can't go anywhere for four weeks. So I've got Tuesday and Wednesday's pub. And then um, I'm going to have to head over to a base somewhere uh, just to make sure that I'm, I can be, I'm okay to stay somewhere for that amount of time. Four weeks is a long time. I'm not quite 100% sure about um how long it is that you can stay on a site um i mean maybe i need to have a look and see what's online around me maybe i should go back up to the peak district because that was really really nice and i can do some filming whilst i'm exercising because we're allowed to do that i do have an idea to be able to keep you guys entertained through that time um, but I'm going to have to announce that once I've been thinking about it a little bit more because um, uh, it will take a few days planning. But I've now obviously got a lot of time to do that. Um, yeah, I'm really disheartened by it. But of course, we've got to be good. We've got to be good for the nation. Stay home, stay safe, um, you know, on all of that, and which is fine. But um, yeah, eight months worth of planning just lost a month um no record then no 150 pubs in 12 months don't think that's doable now but um don't worry watch this space we're gonna have fun i'm gonna entertain you let me entertain you i'm gonna do it the best way i know how drinking <laughs> Morning, well afternoon now actually, it is Sunday the 1st, 26 days in and it's now uh -uh, lockdown, lockdown's going to be happening from Thursday so I've been chatting to my pubs, I'm still going to go on Tuesday, I was hoping that my Thursday one would move to Wednesday being the last pub, then I'm going to try and head over to a campsite, um, I'm on this lovely little site right now, but it's incredibly windy. So um, I'm trying to do uploads, upload, uploads as usual, but I've not been able to do any voice recording because um, I'm surprised enough it's quite quiet now, but normally the wind will be going and my van will be going <laughs> um, <clears throat> Yeah, really gutted about the tour. It's going to be put on hold for a month, but that's fine, I guess, because I've got a couple of ideas. I'm thinking about doing a live tasting session once a week with me. I'm going to let you guys know of what beers I'm going to be buying, and then you can come and join me on YouTube to do a live beer tasting with me from the van. I think that would be a great idea. I have contacted a couple of craft beer companies to see if they would be interested in doing this with me but I've just got to make sure I can get an address first so they can send me some beers if not I could just nip to the local local shop or offie and buy something there that we can review together um, I think that would be a great way for us all especially you guys who have now just started following me to have an opportunity where we can get together have a few beers under lockdown and um and um yeah, drink the worries away. <laughs> Hopefully, um, you know, things will get better. Always be smiley. Just think of me and all the crap that I've gone through over the last few weeks and I'm still smiling. You can do it too. <laughs> so hopefully, watch this space and we'll be having a beer together very soon. 
Sorry, folks, we lost day 27. But to stay on top of what we're getting up to, follow us and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.